This video will demonstrate advanced concepts of API Manager in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. You will understand to obtain a managed API URL, view managed API metadata, invoke an API using URL, enforce per API and or guide API policies, capture authentication issues, and interpreting API analytics. Log in to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services and choose API Manager from the list of available services. This will open the API Registry page which shows all the services in the API Manager. They are classified as Available Services and Managed Services. Choose Managed Services from the drop-down. You can see Receive Input is a Managed Service. This means that the API is already active and available. To obtain the URL of this API, click Actions, and select Copy URL. First, you will need to view the service details to understand how to invoke this API. You can view the metadata details of the managed API by pasting the copied URL, and suffix the URL with Swagger. Here, you can see the operation that the service provides, authentication it needs and the input and output for this operation. We will now call this operation. Open the browser, paste the copied URL, key in the input parameters and press enter to see the response. You will see the response in the browser window that the API call is successful. Now, we will see how to customize the API domain name. Go the settings of the API registry that allows you to modify the API domain name. The default domain name is shown here. This is the unique domain name for the organization managed API service. Let us change the API domain name to informatica.com and confirm the changes. Now, go to Actions and select View API Details to view the updated domain name displayed in Managed API URL. To check the updated Managed API URL, go to Actions menu and select Copy URL. Paste the copied URL in browser and suffix the URL with Swagger to see service details. You will see the same service definition as you saw last time when we used the default API domain name. Also, note that the service definition with the default API domain name will no longer be available. We will now call this operation with the updated API domain name. Open the browser, paste the copied URL. Key in the input parameters and press enter. You shall see the response on the browser window. The API call is successful. Open the action menu and select view API details. Now go to rate limit tab. Enable API specific rate limit policy. Enter the number of requests and the number of milliseconds that define the rate limit policy, and then click Update. Here, we have applied a policy on the API that allows one request in 30 seconds. Invoke the API once. It is successful. Now try again. This time it fails with HTTP 429 too many requests with the cause being API rate limit reached. Once the time limit of 30 seconds is elapsed, Try invoking the API again. It would be successful. The rate limit policies can also be disabled, which means that the specific API can be invoked with any frequency. Open the Action menu, select View API Details. Under Rate Limit, uncheck Enable API Specific Rate Limit Policy, and click Update to disable the rate limit policy. Likewise. You can enforce security and access rules for all managed APIs in the organization. Go to Policies page. Here, you can regulate the rate at which API requests can be served and assign IP filtering access policies. Default rate limit policy values can be modified. The rate limiting policy controls the number of times any single managed API in this organization can be invoked during a designated time. The individual rate limit and organizational rate limits are independent. For instance, organizational rate limit can be 1000 invocations per minute, whereas for an individual managed API rate limit can be 10 invocations per second. However, 
API manager checks each policy independently and rejects a managed API if either of the limits are passed. The IP filtering designates the range of computer IP addresses that are allowed or denied to invoke managed APIs across the organization. You can edit, add, delete an IP filtering policy as required. IP filtering policies are applied according to the order of the policies and it determines the precedence. Service will respond with error message reading 403 forbidden status code along with description. Invocation is prohibited due to organization policies. When an API consumer attempts to access a managed API and deny due to rate limit policy or an IP filtering policy, let us create an IP filtering policy. Choose allow or deny and key in the IP range. Add a description for the IP filtering policy and then click add. API Manager will create IP filtering policy for the managed API and adds the policy to the display of the IP filtering policies. Change the default IP filtering rule to deny by clicking Actions, Change to Deny All. Due to this policy, no APIs can be accessed. Now try to invoke the API. You will get the error message reading 403 forbidden status code along with description invocation is prohibited due to organization policies. You can always change this back to allow by clicking actions, change to allow all. The order of the policies determines the precedence and moving a policy up or down impacts the precedence. Higher the policy in the table, higher the precedence. To delete an IP filtering policy, go to action menu and select delete. You can search for a specific policy using the Find field in the Policies page. Click Analytics link to view the dashboard. You can analyze the API usage, track the API call instances, access exceptions. Using the Analytics function that will help to foresee business needs, API Manager creates an activity log for all API access instances and a security log to track any access exceptions that user perform with the managed API. Activity log allows you to view the managed API's access requests on a selected date range. The API access attempts are displayed in chronological order. Click the title of the column to sort based on timestamp. API name, API URL, type, method, HTTP response, username, consumer IP and duration. Security log allows you to view the managed API's access exceptions on a selected date range. The API access attempts are displayed in chronological order. To search for an activity log or security for a specific period, select the dates from and to calendar. Then click Show Log button. The logs will be displayed with local time zone setting of your browser. 